Uh, excuse me, sir, what the fuck are you doing in my house? I could ask you the same thing if it applied. Why can't I move my eyes? Oh, why can't I move my mouth? Is this an internal dialogue? I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku! I guess I have to face that in this awful place I shouldn't show a trace of doubt But pulled against the grain I feel a little pain that I would rather do without I'd rather be free That was a close call. I almost split there. Whew. Hey. What the fuck? I think um, two systems dating uh, is really funny because sometimes you'll have like fictives from different sources dating each other. Like for us, we have Kyoko Kirigiri from Danganronpa in our system dating Tengen from Demon Slayer in our partner system. I really want to hear what other people's, like, wildest combination is, so, like, a comment or duet, because I find it really funny. Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes! Get up, cocksuck, because it's all over. Listen, we had a- If this is all part of God's plan, he better have a plan B, because this shit ain't working out. Hello, everyone. How are you? Why, thank you. Everybody, uh, hi, I'm Techno. I am a fictive of character Technoblade. I am actually one of the hosts of our system along with Rena. Here's some stuff about me. Uh, I also do most of the Twitch streaming and film our Technoblade cosplay. But, um, hi guys!
SP, South Park, Hasman Hotel, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. All of these things have something in common. They are considered problematic. Whether it be material within, the story, or the people who worked on it, these have all been labeled problematic in nearly every system discord I have seen. So, why do people split fictives from problematic sources? Well, let's start with why a source may be considered problematic. A source may be considered problematic due to the contents. A good example of this, and I'm sorry to those I'm about to jump scare, is Hetalia. Hetalia is the catch-all. That gives nothing away. But here's where you'll start to realize how it's problematic. Hetalia's first manga series and first two seasons of the anime are called Hetalia Axis Powers. Like Germany, Italy, and Japan's little club they formed back in 1940. And that's exactly what happens in the show, though incredibly watered down, because they just wanted to seem like they're really good friends. Besides that, there's just a bunch of stereotypes of different nationalities thrown into each character, which many find offensive. South Park is obvious. It's littered with controversy and has been since it came out. Asman Hotel itself is labeled problematic mostly because of its creator, Vivzipop, and whatever the f that spider thing has going on. Though this still leaves the answer of why do systems split from these sources unanswered? Well, it, it's quite simple. Systems split what their brain deems necessary and fit for their survival. And yes, sometimes that ends up being fictive from problematic sources. Systems cannot force splits. Sometimes a character can be associated with someone's abuser, and due to the trauma that person had inflicted, it can cause the split of said character as a fictive. It's very important to note, like all fictives, problematic sourced fictives are not their source. They should be treated like any other alter. They have their own likes, dislikes, and aspirations. So if a problematic sourced fictive turns out to be abusive or harmful, that's their own fault, not the fault of their source. They're just a bad person. Hey, I'm Jenna and I have DID. It used to be known as multiple personality disorder. And I get a lot of questions about fusion. Fusion is the coming together of two different alters to create a new alter. Um, and for some people, it is the, the goal of therapy to have all the alters come together. Um, our goal is health whatever that looks like. We, we are just pursuing the health of all parts, whether we end up fused or not. However, uh, we have had some alters fuse uh, spontaneously. And the best way I can describe what fusion is, is with a puzzle. If you're putting together a puzzle, you may have a piece that has a cat on it and a piece that has a dog on it. These are very different puzzle pieces. They don't look alike, but when you put them together, they create a whole nother picture. You now have a cat and a dog snuggling on a rug, and this is not what it used to be. It contains all of the components of the two pieces individually, but they now look different. They now have a different shape and create a different image. And that is what it's like when two alters fuse. To get ahead of questions, yes, it can be difficult. I do miss their individuality. All the traits, and components of them are still there, but not having them there individually feels like a little bit of a loss. And there can be benefits to fusing. Um, and sometimes alters choose that, or sometimes it happens spontaneously, but we don't force it on anyone in our system. Try to make this as digestible as I possibly can in as short a period of time as I possibly can. So integration is essentially where the amnesic walls between parts lower enough where different parts can communicate with each other. And you can kind of try to find a little bit more of a flow. You'll be able to feel switches coming on a little bit more. You'll be able to tell when the other person's kind of approaching a little bit more. And you can leave notes for each other a little easier. If you're somebody who didn't have a ton of internal communication, that will peak up. For us, uh, internal communication is always very, very high. We can always hear each other. We just can't always necessarily communicate in the way that we want to. And what I mean by amnesic barriers specifically is when people say DID, dissociative identity disorder, what they're not explaining is that in between each and every one of those parts is an amnesic wall. We won't remember what the other person was doing. We won't remember what the other person was saying. We won't remember if they ate anything. Those are things that through a lot of internalized work or a lot of therapy, some people it's a lot of time, you can slowly break those down or pull them down over time. When that happens, you integrate into the system. Let me know if that made sense. I wanna learn how to write. 
I also want to learn how to draw so that that way I can make like comics and animations for YouTube and stuff. I think that would just be like a really cool thing to do. That's cool and all. Uh, but I want us to learn martial arts because I worry about our current lack of exercise and self-defense skills. I mean, look at these noodle arms. Okay, but I think it would be really cool if we learned how to sew. So that way we can do cosplay and then maybe we could even like learn how to make armor and jewelry. And then, and then like at some point our entire closet could just be stuff that we made. You know, I've only been here for, for like two days so far. But I think we should learn sword fighting. So why aren't you doing it?